Now to the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic here in Illinois. Health officials announcing nearly 2,300 new cases, 59 more deaths in the last day. And there have been more than 96,000 confirmed cases since the outbreak started. Many of the victims have died from COVID-19. In nursing homes, and the first lawsuit has been filed against Bria of Geneva. A quarter of the nursing homes residents there have died from the virus. WGN's Tanya Francisco live with that story. Tanya. Micah and Joe, Bria of Geneva tells me today that more than 50 residents and 33 of its staff members have either recovered or are asymptomatic after testing positive for COVID-19. But that is of little comfort to the family of Helen Osacha. They say they didn't even know she was sick, much less had COVID-19, until they read her death certificate. We all miss her. Michael Caldwell remembers his mother-in-law, Helen Osacha, as a gracious, intelligent, hardworking woman who, after raising two children, went to work at the famous Como Inn in Chicago as a bookkeeper and a waitress for 30 years. She had a whole collection of customers who loved her. About a year ago, the family moved Helen to Bria of Geneva. They last saw her in March, just before the facility was locked down because of COVID-19. Osacha passed away April 26th at 97 years old. Caldwell says the family had no idea his mother-in-law was sick, much less had COVID-19. The uh, funeral home gave us Helen's death certificate and on that death certificate, it says that she was ill for one week prior to her death. Absolutely incredibly outrageous. Attorney Peter Flowers has filed a wrongful death lawsuit in Kane County Circuit Court accusing Bria of Geneva of not taking reasonable measures to ensure its employees and staff members complied with the COVID-19 preventative directives of the Illinois Department of Public Health and the Centers for Disease Control. They not only didn't protect the patients in there, but they also didn't protect their own workers. A Bria Health Services spokeswoman issued a statement in response to the lawsuit. It reads in part, because testing was not immediately accessible, the high number of asymptomatic carriers among residents and staff created a silent enemy impossible to detect and difficult to defeat. Bria of Geneva has had some of the highest number of COVID cases and deaths stemming from an Illinois nursing home. As of May 15th, there have been 112 cases and 22 deaths. Helen Osacha among them. We hope that the legal system and our government system will help prevent this in the future. Attorney Flowers expects to file more lawsuits against Bria of Geneva later this week. I'm live from home this evening. Tanya Francisco, WGN News. Thank you, Tanya.